Welcome back to another Sunday service. We are very excited to have you here joining with us this morning. We're going to start off our Mother's Day by worshiping God. That was always the first thing we did in our house. We'd get up, we'd make my mom a card, we'd hand her her card, and then we'd always make sure we went to church on Sunday morning. So it's no different today, whether you are with your mom or whether your mom is uh, in a different house or maybe a different country. Hello, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Um, I hope that you just spend this morning worshiping God and just being in this fellowship and this friendship and a relationship with Him because who am I that the God who made everything would actually choose to be my friend and choose to be in a relationship with me? But He does, and it's worth celebrating and praising Him for that this morning. relationship. Um, but what I find comforting every time I think about Mother's Day, whether I'm in the same room as my mother or not, uh, whether you have your mother around or you don't, is that God has given you that gift of that life that comes from her. And you wouldn't be around if it weren't for her. And that for me actually reflects back to my relationship with God. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for what he did so many years ago on the cross. And even though my life isn't perfect and my life isn't always how I want it to be, I can take comfort knowing that I have a God who is strong, who is powerful, who is wise, and who's willing to guide me in my life. And this next song says, my heart is yours. Take it all. My life is in your hands. And I really want to make sure this morning that we choose to give our hearts and our lives back to God. That we choose to actually thank Him for what He did. And we recognize who He is in our
message is going to be brought to us from Lieutenant Derek Smith, and he's going to be preaching on the passage in Proverbs 31, uh, verses 25 to 30, and I love that passage of scripture because it gives us a beautiful description of what a godly woman is, but it gives us a really beautiful description of who God is and how we should be ready to reflect him. So as he brings us our Mother's Day message this morning, I pray that your hearts are ready to listen to what he has to say, that they're ready to receive the word of God this morning, and that they're ready to be changed so you can walk out of this morning knowing that you walk in a beautiful reflection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, Facebook family and friends. I hope you're doing well on this beautiful Sunday. And as you know, today is Mother's Day, and I want to just say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And as you know, um, or some of you know, my name is Lieutenant Derek Smith with the Salvation Army of Henderson, North Carolina. I'm excited to be with you today, and um, I just wanted to share um, something that's near and dear to my heart, um, especially on this day, being Mother's Day. And this is a message not just for mothers, uh, but for all of us out there. And hopefully this is something that you can take with you uh, for the rest of your weeks to come. Um, and also with you as you go through the, the hustle and bustle of life, especially right now and what we're going through. Um, we're going to be, if you have your Bibles, uh, I would ask you that you turn to Proverbs 31. Uh, as you know, this is a, a very familiar scripture, probably for some others, uh, but also for several of us out there today. And uh, we're going to be focusing on uh, verses 25 through 31. And I want to start by saying that a godly mother is a treasure to a family. You know, I, I think about when I was growing up, uh, my mother was near and dear to my heart, and uh, she is to this day. And uh, I remember many things that she said and that she did for me and, and taught me uh, in growing up. And in particular, she was a, a school teacher for many, many years. And um, I remember her teaching mostly fourth grade. And just the, her dedication to her job, um, uh, the hours that she worked um, in, in school teaching, but then she would come home, she would cook a full meal and, and uh, help my father in his business. And she was just an amazing mom, uh, amazing mother to, to me and my sister. And um, I just think about that today because how special she was to, uh, or is still even today to me and my sister uh, right now. And so I wanna start off with verse 25, uh, which says this, she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of, of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed. Her hu husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but your Surpass, you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor her for all that her hands have done and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Guys, today I, I, I want you to think about uh, verse 25 where it says she is clothed with strength and dignity. Now, I, I know uh, this message, it, with it being Mother's Day, we're going to think first of mothers. But the reality is, I want you to think about our, ourselves in our Christian walk with God. See, we live in a culture uh, which the agenda is not necessarily godliness. Uh, it's, it's, it's not the first thing on our, our very minds. Because we are more concerned with achievement, with the higher pay, highest paying job, we're more concerned with the external beauty of who we are. And in fact, sometimes that can get in the way of things that we, we, we think about ourselves and what we want to do and who we want to be in Christ. In fact, we'll do anything such as plastic surgeries. We'll, we'll put on the, the thickest of makeups. We'll have the finest of shoes and clothes and the finest of pocketbooks and things and so on and so on. But the reality is, it's not about the external view of who we are. It's about the internal part of who we are. See, uh, we're to be clothed with strength and dignity. Let me, let me bring out a verse in Psalm 93, uh, in fact, that speaks about this. But in Psalm 93, verse 1, it says, The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. 
Indeed, the world is established and firm and secure. Guys, <laughs> I, I think about that because we are to be robed in his majesty. You know, it says that the Lord is armed with strength. See, it's not relying on the strength that we have. Uh, we have to rely on the Lord's strength. And especially in these times today where we are, are not necessarily knowing what the next day may look like, what the next few minutes may look like in our lives. But the reality is that we have a God who reigns and is robed in, in majesty. In fact, he, has this, he is armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established, firm and secure. Can we be firm and secure of who God is in our lives? Can we be firm and secure in who we are in Christ? See, godliness is simply being filled with the Holy Spirit, living a life of freedom in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, it, it, it kind of goes back, and I want to go uh, to another verse in Psalm in uh, chapter 37, verse 30. And it goes, goes along with our scripture today where it says, The mouths of the righteous utter wisdom, and their tongues speak what is just. You know, I think about moms out there today, or, or mothers per se, who, uh, who share what's on their mind. You know, my, my mom was one of those that, that, uh, that, that showed me a, a, a special kind of love in my life. You know, there were things that she taught me, such as washing dishes or, or clothes or, or doing my chores and, and different things amongst the house and, and other places. And it, and it made me who I am today. But there's a, a strong connection between a mother and, and God. Because the, one of the first folks that we see or first people that we see when we're born out of our, our mother's womb is our mother. It's an attachment that will be she carries us for those nine months. And what a special relationship it is between uh, a mother and her child from the very beginning. But to me, the strength and dignity that we're talking about here in these verses today go along with peace and joy within our hearts. It's a fearlessness that we have in knowing who Christ is in our life. It's, just, it's a fearful, fearlessness of knowing that when we speak these words of wisdom, that they are special instruction for a faithful way of living. See, in verse 27, it says that she, this, this mother or this woman, she, she watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. See, I, I truly believe with all my heart today that God watches over us, just like our mother, a mother watches over her child. And I know we have special moms out there who would do anything for their children, right? But in our Christian lives, are we willing to do anything to follow God in our life? Is there a godliness that would take us to the end of the road and, and have faith in knowing that he will pull us through? See, there's an integrity or some principles that we must follow as Christians. In fact, we need to be ready to face anything with God. Not, not, not going before God, not, not doing things on our own, but ready to face anything with, our, with God, a God who loves us. See, it also tells us uh, in, in those uh, verses uh, and I'll go back to, to verse 25. She can laugh at the days to come. See, we, when we know that we have a God that will pull us through anything we face, then we can laugh at the days that are ahead because we know that the evilness of this world, we know that Satan and his schemes cannot take over the things in our lives. I, 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 I can only say the word hallelujah today because I, I believe that with all my heart today that we can live a spirit-filled life that we can live in freedom in Christ and knowing who he is in our life. And guys, that's not just for mothers today. Guys, I, I, I want to say happy Mother Day, Mother's Day to all the mothers. But the reality is, is that all of us are faced with these challenging things in our lives. You know, it's about an inner beauty within. Because it, in, in verse 28, her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. See, I believe that mothers uh, surpass many things in, in their lives. In fact, they're challenged with many challenges with their children and within their marriage. But the reality is that a, a woman that is noble, a woman that is fearless, has a fearlessness in knowing who she is with God, has the opportunity or has a, a way about her that is blessed. 
Guys, I, I think the word blessed simply pour, pours out to us that we are truly favored by God. And if you don't know today, if you live with Christ, if you're spending time with Christ, then he abundantly has given you a favor that you can't even explain. See, that favor for us helps us surpass all things. In fact, it's a charm and it, it's a beauty that we have within our inner selves. You know, First Peter, and I, th I think I have here First Peter, uh, but, but the reality, reality is, is that First Peter talks about an inner beauty that we have within ourselves. And God has given that, that inner beauty to us. And we, to, we are to exemplify that in the way that we speak, the way that we talk, the way that we walk in our lives. And I truly believe that mothers of God truly exemplify that on their, in their daily lives. The way they care for their children, the way they carry their households, it's, it's a, actually, it provides an eyewitness for us as husbands and as children. But in Proverbs chapter 3, and I want to share this with you, the verse 5 and verse 6. Because it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Guys, I want to challenge you today. Maybe you're a mother watching this. Maybe you're a father at home. Maybe you're a child at home that's watching this today. But if we trust not on our own understanding, if we trust God with all our heart and we lean to him, and submit to him, he will make our paths straight and narrow. See, let us be an eyewitness to the whole conduct of being blessed by God. Can we sell it all to gain it all in our lives? You know, today is the day that the Lord has made. And in these last few verses or this last verse, I think it simply sums up how we should be as Christians and following our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It says, charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor her for all that our hands have done and let her works bring, pray, bring her praise at the city gates. Guys, it reminds me of James 2.17 that talks about faith without works is dead. And I hopefully today that you are encouraged by this message to have faith and to have courage, knowing that God has all the strength that we need, that we can be clothed in a way to go through the things of this life, to face all obstacles and know that we're not alone today. There's a song that I, I, I know in the, the Red Song book, and it's a familiar song. Um, and if you have your Red Song book today or, or maybe whenever you get a chance, but, but this song you can find online because it's a, a very, very familiar song. But in our song book is song number 455. That's Blessed Assurance. And I just want to sh share this, uh, a bit of this song in, in, with verse two. It says, perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above, echoes of mercy, whispers of love. Third verse, perfect submission, all is at rest. I am my savior, am happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story. This is my soul. Guys, may we be blessed today. And to all the mothers, happy Mother's Day to you. And I hope that we continue to rest in knowing that we have a God that loves us so much that he's willing to give, it his, give us his son for our very sins so that we may live and live abundantly. God bless you. And I look forward to seeing each of you at some point in this term. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this glorious day. And we pray, Lord, that you would continue to bless us and to give, continue to give us your favor. Father, we know that there's uh, 
a, a world out there that's, that's, that's evil, Lord. We know that there are things that may trip us up at times. But Father, we ask that you would continue to give us strength. Continue to give us mercy, Lord. And Father, we would continue to put you first and foremost in our lives. And that we will not lean on our own understanding, but lean on you, Father, in those times. Father, we, we ask that you continue to keep us humble, truthful, and thankful. And Lord, we ask all these things in your precious and holy name we do pray. For it's in the mighty name of Jesus we do pray. Amen. God bless you and happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Lieutenant Derek, for that amazing message this morning. My heart has definitely been touched and changed. Um, and just before we leave, I want to make sure that I encourage you to say happy Mother's Day to your mother, whether it's your biological mother, whether it's somebody who's filling a mother position for you in life, or maybe it's just a woman in your life that you respect and admire for who she is. I want you to reach out, send her a text, shoot her a message, give her a phone call, maybe FaceTime her if you can't see her in person. Um, but just make sure we appreciate those women in our life today. Mom, I love you. I miss you. And um, I'm excited to get to see you one time when the travel ban is all lifted. That's my message this morning. I encourage you to do the same thing for those mother figures in your life. We love you and we look forward to worshiping with you again very soon.